Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul. Very happy to be connecting with you this morning from Hawaii. I say morning because it's about 9 a.m. here where I'm at. And it is a beautiful day outside. We're very blessed to have some good weather here. Uh, today, it will be a relatively short uh, service and video. Uh, I'll probably keep it around 20, 25 minutes, maybe a few minutes longer, but it won't be overly long. And that's because I'll be focusing on offering a blessing today. Not much teaching, just a little bit. So for all those that join, they will receive some significant benefits. So I look forward to serving you in that area. <coughs> welcome uh, Dan, welcome Marguerite, welcome Rina. Aloha Pranodi, thank you. Welcome Kristen Rojas. Thank you for all joining. And so today I'll be focusing on a Tao Hands Blessing. T-A-O is Tao. And a Tao Hands Blessing is very uh, powerful, more than people understand. And that's what they're going to learn a little bit about today. My hope is that you'll be able to uh, not only pass on this uh, wisdom and this blessing to others to receive, because others can receive it from the video itself, if you share it with them. But also, uh, I wish to assist you in moving your own path forward in the soul, mind, body alignment of your soul, I guess is a good way to put it. Welcome, Sharon Dodd. And so, well, that's what we'll be talking about today. So thank you all for joining. Got up a little late this morning because uh, there was a phone call with Master Shah and he has a special event coming up in November so he was sharing that with some people and I needed to be on that call and it's uh, 12 o'clock his time when he's doing the call but it's 5, uh, 5.30 or 5.45 in the morning <laughs> well, uh, my time so it's a little early so forgive me if I'm looking a little tired. Welcome Shelly, welcome also, thank you Dan for the good morning. Aloha Div Jot, thank you all for coming. So today's live stream as indicated will be uh, not too long. I'm going to be focusing on uh, offering some wisdom from the Tao Hands. Now I'll be using this book here called Divine Healing Hands. And this book is pretty amazing. Uh, book. It has uh, astounding amounts of wisdom in it. Um, and you'll know that if you get it and pick it up. Um, Divine Healing Hands went through a name change, but is actually more powerful now. And it's called Tao Hands. And I'll share with you a little bit about that. And I'm going to ask this book to offer everyone a blessing. And that was actually the title of this live stream. Can a book give you a healing? Well, the only way to find out is to actually receive, and then you'll know for sure if that's possible. It's truly astounding if you think about it that, uh, you know, 500 pieces of paper clumped together with a pretty cover can actually help you to heal. So what I'm going to be talking about up until the point of that healing is how that's possible. That should, uh, should be very enlightening for many people. Welcome Gary Robertson, welcome Shelley, welcome to all the other souls that have joined. Please click your share button and let other people know about today's live stream. I did not um, do any uh, pre-calling to let other people know about today's live stream <coughs> when I, um, which I normally do a day in advance and let other people know, so I need your assistance with that. So in the meantime, I will go ahead and call all the beings of light to assist us and we'll set the energy field. So dear the divine, dear the Tao, dear the source, our beloved creator, all layers, all committees in heaven, we love you, honor, respect you. We invite you to please come at this time to offer any additional wisdom and blessings as appropriate. Dear the soul of our heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, all the beings of light, including angels, healing angels, masters, ascended masters, 
gurus, lamas, sifus, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas. Love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, invite you to come. Please enjoy and serve at this time as appropriate. To the song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls and all universes. We love you, we honor you, we appreciate you, and we invite you to please come at this time and to offer your service through love, peace, and harmony. We invite all souls and all universes to turn on their song of love, peace, and harmony. And as we chant this soul song, we invite all souls to offer this service with us. Let us continue. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Welcome, Anne Marie. Welcome, Keith Anthony. Lula, li, lula. Wo, I, wo, shin, her, ling. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls. <clears throat> together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony how 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 thank you thank you thank you okay So thank you for joining, thank you for sharing. Today we're going to be focusing on can a book give you a healing? And <clears throat> we're going to actually experience if that's possible. I'm going to be using this book, which is backwards in your camera, and it's called Divine Healing Hands. And this book is written by Master Shah. Uh, I believe it was printed in 2010. I'm looking now when it was printed. 2012. That's when it was printed. Welcome, Petra. Welcome, Monica. <clears throat> so approximately six years ago. Since then, this uh, book has been very well received. It is a New York Times bestseller. So that must say something about it. And it has been practiced with and the wisdom inside by many, many, many people. And it is recommended, uh, even though the book has six years depth in it, that you get it. Why? Because... One reason is it actually has 20 healings built into the book. And we're going to use one of them today to serve you. Welcome, Leti Lerma. So I'm going to explain to you how is it possible that 20 healing blessings can be put into a book? Can a book actually heal? How is that possible? Well, first things first, you have to understand who is Dr. and Master Shah. This is Dr. And Master Shah right here. He is a world-renowned healer. He is also a doctor, so he has a high level of medical knowledge, a doctor in Eastern and Western medicine, world-class acupuncturist. He's also Qigong Master of the Year in the 2002 Fifth World Congress. So he has plenty of, of, uh, of awards, if you will, and recognitions behind him. He's written 21 books, 11 New York Times bestsellers, four number one New York Times bestsellers. So he has plenty of wisdom, and apparently people like his wisdom because you don't get to be 11 times New York Times bestseller accidentally. And in his books, he shares how to open your heart and soul, how to align your soul to the divine, how to clear your blockages so you stop suffering, how to clear your health issues, how to clear your emotional blockages, how to clear your financial blockages. This wisdom, when practice, works. And it works for everyone. It doesn't matter who it is. Basically, the only time it doesn't work is if the person doesn't do it enough. And that is a true statement. And someone can say, well, I, I did his practices for three months and there was no results. That might happen about one or two percent of the time. And that one or two percent of the people that it happens for they have very heavy negative energy that surrounds them from this or previous lifetimes. 
from either their or their ancestors' spiritual debts. Welcome Heather Houston, Aloha, welcome Kathleen Monaghan, uh, welcome to any other souls whose names I may have missed. Welcome Monica Spiegel. <clears throat> and so, back to the question, how can power be put into a book? That's a tough one, right? Well, it, it actually has to do with the understanding of Shen Qi and Jing and soul-mind-body alignment. Now, one of the reasons I'm sharing this information with you today, and one of the reasons I'm going to be offering you a blessing from this book today, and we're going to measure it. We're going to see, did it really work? And if it only works for one person, there's, you know, 15, 20 people watching, well, that's probably the placebo effect, right? Even two people, if it only works for two people, probably still the placebo effect. But if there's 15 people watching, and it works for seven people, that's a pretty impressive placebo. So that's what we're going to discover today, just how good this is. I'm not going to be using any of my healing treasures. I'm just going to hold up the book. Now, why does it work? Well, very simply put, I just mentioned this uh, yesterday to a, a person I was talking to. And I said, you know, Master Shah is an extremely high frequency being, he carries extraordinary power, heaven power. And he takes no claim for it, he always gives credit to heaven, but it's heaven's power. And it's a very, very high level of power. And he has the abilities, as many high level masters on the planet do, Aloha Irene, to transfer um, those powers and abilities to people, objects and things. It's certainly not rare. I trained with a master about uh, 12, 13 years ago. And when she came out of the mountains as an enlightened being, uh, all the people in the village, they knew it. They hadn't seen her in many, many years. And they, uh, she came to the village and people were flocked to the door. They knew that she was an enlightened being. And so, and she, she, and she just walked into town to get some food. Um, and so the next morning she got up and she started serving. And what did she do? She said to the people, give me a coin. And they said, they said, I'm happy, to, you know, I'm happy to pay you for your services because they were sick. They said, no, I don't want your money. She said, give me your coin. And she took the coin and she held it in her palm and she put power into the coin. And she said, put this coin on your discomfort spot and you will get better. And guess what happened? Of course it worked. Because great masters can put power into books, objects, and things. This is, certainly should not be new information for you. This very common place out there. So, Master Shah, welcome Thweeba, uh, welcome Irene, anybody else whose name I missed, welcome. So, it's not unusual for Masters to put power to books, objects, and things. What is unusual is that they can direct what those books, objects, and things do. So, in Master Shah's case, he put exactly 20 blessings into this book. And uh, he put them into each and every one book. So if you got this book off the shelf, you could ask for 20 blessings. The 21st would not work for you. You could then give the book to somebody else and it would start working again. Isn't that interesting? So that's also a unique power and ability. Why does it work? <clears throat> Master Shah has put power into things like calligraphies. You've heard me do many, many uh, teachings on the calligraphies, and if you haven't, well, you should learn more. The Tao calligraphies are just a piece of paper, but they, and they have black ink on them, very pretty black ink, but that's all it is, piece of paper and pretty black ink. Why then does it carry such extraordinary healing power? Very simple. Power has been transmitted to that paper and that ink. Master Shah was once asked, he said, Somebody asked him, Master Shah, why can't you just transmit that power to us healers directly? Why, why put it into a piece of paper? He said, well, there are several reasons. He said, um, you will die. I will leave as well. Eventually, we will all leave. So if I just transmit to a person and that person dies, then the power is gone. If I put it into a book, if I put it into an object or a thing, as long as that book, object, or thing is maintained, then the power remains with it. That was one answer. The second part was, he said, to be perfectly frank, uh, the humans simply do not have enough purity to handle the frequency that I place into a book, object, or a thing. <laughs> That's, that kind of sucks to hear, right? 
the human being cannot handle it. We can't handle the power because we have too much karma, too much spiritual debt, too much impurities. We carry too much crud in our soul, heart, mind, and body. Our soul, mind, and body are not aligned. So with our soul, mind, and body not being aligned, that can create a significant problem. What causes soul, mind, body misalignment? Shen, qi, and jing blockages. Shen is soul, mind, body. Soul, heart, mind, excuse me. Qi is energy, jing is matter. Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter are out of alignment. Our mind blockages could be making us out of alignment. Our heart blockages. What are heart blockages? Not physical heart. Greed, selfishness, you know, uh, uh, gossiping. These are heart blockages. And these kinds of blockages cause health issues, they cause financial blockages, they cause relationship blockages. So when our soul, mind, and body are out of alignment, it shows up in our physical world. Health, relationship, uh, uh, finances, all of these start becoming negatively impacted. Therefore our frequency drops. Therefore we cannot handle receiving the healing transmission directly ourselves. So when somebody goes to a soul, mind, body alignment retreat, which is the precursor to becoming a, a Tao Hands healer, you're going to receive a Tao Hands blessing today directly from this book. Um, but one can become a Tao Hands healer as well. But they have to clear their soul, mind, body blockages enough to be a pure enough vessel to receive the transmission. The book doesn't have to clear anything, you know, clear a little bit of the karma from the wood pulp. No big deal. But the human being has to be a pure enough vessel to receive the healer transmission. Once they receive the healer transmission, they can be an astounding miracle healer for others if they wished it to be. So, soul mind body alignment is key. And there's a, a course coming up that I, I do recommend you write the dates down uh, November 9 through 11. <clears throat> and it's a three day webcast course. And it's, I'm not doing it, it's, it's through uh, Master Shah's Dow Healing Center here in Honolulu. And one of the reasons I'm supporting it is because whether you become a Tao Hands healer or not, you will learn huge amounts of information. You will be able to receive huge amounts of blessings to further align your blockages because your blockages are what causes the physical pain, the mental pain, the emotional pain, the financial pain, the relationship pain. Those are blockages, soul, mind, body alignment blockages. And this three-day uh, program is all about weaning them away, giving you the wisdom to wean them away and prepare you if you choose to become a Tao Hands healer. So in this book, Divine Healing Hands, which is printed in 2012, there is some astounding, astounding wisdom. And Kristen, uh, if you keep an eye on our timeline, we'll post the link for you to register for that three-day webcast. And this wisdom in here, I tell you, it's, it's really, really wonderful. Now also along with this wisdom is many, many downloads and transmissions. So um, to be able to receive those complimentary uh, is, is huge. Master Shah puts huge downloads and transmissions into the books we, and he teaches you how to use them. So now I am going to um, prepare you to receive. How do we do that? Well. Uh, there are currently 17 people live showing up and there will be probably a thousand people that watch this in recording. And so all of you, I want you to choose only a physical suffering. Okay, why? Because physical sufferings are measurable. Now if you have a significant emotional issue, you're like severely depressed, severely anx anxiety or something like that. Okay, go ahead and choose that significant emotional blockage because you'll probably receive some noticeable range of benefit from that. It's not easy to instantly validate financial blessings or, or relationship issues. It's not so easy to instantly validate those. So I want us all to focus on a physical suffering. If you're on a eight, nine or 10 scale on emotional pain, okay, you can choose that. And I want you to put a number to it, okay? 10 being the highest, one being the lowest. Put a number to it. You know, what is your level of suffering? I'm an eight on a 10 scale. Now, I don't need you to write that in. 
at the end of the blessing, you're going to post it. I don't need to see the posting. I'm not, I'm not doing the blessings. Why do I need to see it? It's not for me. It's for everybody else that watches this video that wonders, can a book really give you a healing? <clears throat> also, it's for you, validating your mind. I was an eight, now I'm a five. Now, what if that happens? I was an eight, now I'm a five. Well, the blessing is probably going to be about, I don't know, three or four minutes. We'll figure it out in a minute. What does, what does that mean? Well, I only went down three points. I was an eight, now I'm a five. I only went down three points. I'm not saying you'll think that. But what if you do? What does that say about the negativity? Right? Have you ever sat in front of a computer and three minutes later your pain goes down 33%? Not very common. So be grateful is the key. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Regardless of the movement, if it moves from an eight to a six, or if it doesn't move at all. What if it doesn't move at all? That could happen too. That means that the negative spiritual blockages are higher than that three minute blessing. I would recommend going and getting that book. Following the wisdom in that book, doing the practices in the book, receiving the 20 blessings, and I would recommend also signing up for the Soul Mind Body alignment course because you'll receive even more blessings then. So it always works. The percentage of effectiveness depends on the degree and the depth of the blockages that you're trying to impact. Welcome uh, Lana Simeon. <coughs> welcome Jagmeet. Welcome uh, Florian. Uh, welcome anybody else whose name I've missed. Thank you for coming. So we're about ready to initiate this blessing from this book. You need to choose something physical. Give it a number. If it's back pain, something like that, you know, if it's neck pain, okay, turn your neck. What's your flexibility? How far can you turn before the pain comes? Pay attention, okay? You're the one that has to pay attention. If it's back pain, bend over. How far down can you stretch before the pain comes? How, how far are your fingers off the floor, etc.? Give yourself measurable, measurable, um, ways to tell if this is going to make a difference. Like I said, you don't need to post it for me. Um, so afterwards though, then you say, okay, I was this and now I'm this. And don't lie, if you were an eight and you're still an eight, it's okay, put that down. Um, again, this is not for me. This is for all those reading it and for your own mind. Go, oh, wow, this really works. <clears throat> okay, so everybody, in order to receive, we have to do a forgiveness practice because <clears throat> the wisdom is, the reason we have a suffering is because we or our ancestors have brought harm to others. If you want to receive better results, always ask forgiveness. So let us connect first and do that. Close your eyes and repeat after me, if it is comfortable. Dear my beloved divine creator, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. State your name and condition. I love you, deeply, deeply, deeply love you and appreciate you. <clears throat> Dear all humanity, I wish to sincerely apologize whatever mistakes I and my ancestors have made. I know we have made mistakes, thought unpleasant things, spoken unpleasant words, and acted in a very unpleasant manners throughout this life and in other times. Whatever it is that we have done, there is no excuse. Please forgive me and my ancestors. I do not wish to validate being mean to people in my thoughts, words, or actions. It's not okay. Please forgive me. Please forgive my ancestors. I deeply apologize. To all the souls that have brought harm to me, I forgive you unconditionally and release you of your spiritual debts to me. I ask heaven at this time, through Master Shah's book called Divine Healing Hands, continue to repeat, I ask heaven through Master Shah's book, Divine Healing Hands, to offer me a blessing for the condition of State something physical or emotional if you're higher than a 7, 8, 9, 10 on scale. I 
apologize, continue, to all the souls that I have harmed that has brought this physical or emotional suffering to me. I do not remember harming you. I am not that kind of a person now. But if I have, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. And now, as I offer this blessing through this book, in your heart, continue to apologize, visualizing golden light coming to your area of request. I will hold up the book and invoke the book to offer you a blessing. So prepare. Dear the soul of this book, the soul of the 20 blessings within this book, we love you, we honor you, we respect you. As appropriate, please subdivide your soul to all those watching live, all those watching this on recording. Give them a blessing. Create the best blessing possible as appropriate so that their hearts are moved and they want to learn more, to become a Tao Hands healer, to go to Soul Mind Body Alignment Retreat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this blessing, I'll do this blessing, uh, I'll just follow guidance. Prepare, start. Tao Hands Blessing, Tao Hands Blessing, Tao Hands Blessing. Blessing, thou hands 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 blessing. Everyone keep your eyes closed. Relax, receive, see the golden light in your Arab request. Silently ask forgiveness. Do not reply, do not type, just receive. Thou hands blessing, thou hands blessing. Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing. Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing. Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing. Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing, Thou hands blessing. Thou hands blessing, 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 
Thou hands blessing. 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 Two more minutes. Thou hands blessing. 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 <coughs> Thou hands blessing. 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 How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to the Tao Hands Blessings from Master Shah's Divine Healing Hands book. Okay, welcome to all those who came in a little late. Uh, if you did miss the blessing, I recommend that after this recording is over, you go back to watch it. And so for all those that were present through the uh, blessing, please share. When you share, this was my request, you know, could have been an emotional condition or physical condition. This was my number. This is my number now. And it's always good to offer gratitude. Again, I'm not asking for the gratitude. You offer gratitude to the source. The source divine is the one that offered the blessings. It just comes through the medium of this book. That's all. So uh, I will chat a little bit while I wait for your responses. Welcome Marzena, Master Marzena, welcome uh, Diana, welcome Kathy, Aloha, welcome Crystal, thank you all for joining, welcome Sarah, uh, Sarah Jane, welcome also to Tony Teller, and anyone else who may have came in, welcome Rosetta, thank you all for coming. So, the amazing aspects of how power can be transmitted into books, objects, and things. Again, very commonplace uh, in the East. It's, uh, the Eastern uh, understandings, they, they know this. There's, it's not even something that's questioned. Um, but in the West, we're not so familiar with this understanding. And it's unfortunate because so much value can be um, learned if we open our hearts and minds to what the whole world's wisdom has to offer. <laughs> okay, welcome. Let's read some of these comments. Phyllis says, powerful. Heather Houston says, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Mary said she placed her hands over the screen and felt her hands vibrating with energy. Welcome, Lena. Very powerful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sharon says her condition was a seven, now it's a four. And I think she mentioned her condition earlier. I'm looking for it.
physical pain varies from uh, 10 to emotion was five, that's eight. So a couple different things going on. So it looks like it's went down, that's good. Uh, Irene says, thank you. Kathleen says, thank you for the blessing. Her number is now a physical five. Again, I don't know what it was before. And I don't know what you asked for. Um, welcome, Yvonne. <coughs> Irina says, thank you. Um, Anne-Marie says, thank you. All her pain went down from a six down to a two. Thank you. Yes, Kathleen, I know you shared seven times, but I asked the comment to be all in one statement. This was my pain now. This is what it is at the end. That's for other people to read it easily. Okay, Monica says uh, her toe was in pain and it went from a seven down to a four. And so there's approximately 20 people watching. The last five came in in the middle of the blessing, so they probably wouldn't be able to comment. So out of those 15 people, so far about four or five have commented about uh, approximately a 50% reduction, uh, 40 to 50% reduction in their discomfort. And that was about a three and a half, four minute blessing from the book. And so um, this is just a simple example. Now, when somebody uh, receives blessings directly from a Tao Hands uh, practitioner or from the book, one of the 20 blessings uh, within the book, then they can, of course, receive longer blessings. I just gave it a good three and a half, four minutes, followed Heaven's guidance. They said, enough? I said, okay, no problem. Now, those that are watching on recording, uh, you might have an experience, and although uh, the comments have already passed, for your own um, comprehension, you know, really understand what transpired here, that in this book, in this paper, uh, frequencies of love and light have been transmitted and it's heaven's love and light and that frequency came to you uh, adjusted the frequency within your body that was out of balance your soul mind and body were out of alignment and it created a positive message in that space thereby showing up on the physical level in terms of a reduction in pain so it's pretty amazing when you think about it Shelly says her body shook and straightened up her back. She will see how much has changed by feeling a cooling warmth, uh, if that makes any sense. And then physical pain and neck restrictions moving left to right now feel smoother, says Sharon Dodd. Excellent. And Kathleen says her pain was a seven, went down to a five. Okay. So plenty of validation of the efficacy of this three and a half or so minute blessing. And Sharon replies that her neck is much more flexible than it was than before the blessing. So, uh, gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, our beloved divine. Thank you for bringing us all the great beings of light who have preceded us. Jesus and Mother Mary and Buddha, all these beautiful souls that serve humanity. Thank you for bringing a beautiful soul, Master Shah, who is bringing power into books, objects, and things to share with us. For all those that are interested <clears throat> in much more blessings to feel much better and getting a foundation as to why these kinds of blessings work, I recommend you sign up for the Soul Mind Body Alignment November 9 through 11. It is webcast, so you don't have to be present 100% of the time, although it is recommended. And so if it's off time schedule for you, then don't worry, it's all recorded and you can watch it. Uh, during your best time frame. What it is is a precursor to becoming a Tao Hands healer. So you can become a person that can offer blessings like what this book offered you today to your loved one, your children, your mother, your father, your parents, um, your husband, wife, and to those that are very close to you as well. So this is something that is available for anybody if they qualify, if they attend the necessary prerequisites. But regardless of your interest in becoming a healer or not, it's very valuable and wise to attend the Soul Mind Body Alignment Retreat because there will definitely be blessings and healings offered throughout that entire retreat. And you'll learn beautiful amounts of wisdom as to why all of these blessings work. 
So I will say thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're interested, click on the links that Kristen Rojas has posted in the chats. Make sure you like, make sure you share, let other people know about this, especially those that uh, need the blessings, any friends you have that are interested in the healing modality, share it with them. And then I will see you on Sunday for those that wish to join to chant for those with a condition of cancer. Okay, and that's Sunday, 6 p.m. Hawaii time. I will see you then. Bye-bye, everybody.